Hello world, this is Bosa290, and today I'm going to show you how to convert any uh, video, audio, image, con uh, compressed, or word file into a different file format of its type. So in other words, this video will show you how to take uh, AVI, a video file, and convert it into an MOV video file, or it'll take you, it'll uh, show you how to convert an image file into a from a from a JPEG file into a .png file. You get the idea. So once you here, you're going to need these different software these to do different things. Just read this page. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you'll need each respective program for each respective file group or file type, I should say. And once, and I'll be showing one, just one example on how to use this some of these softwares the ones that are available for Mac so I've got the uh, video file software which is called conversion software which is called prism and uh, first things first you're gonna want to change where, where it saves where the default save path is to to uh, where you want it to go and then you're gonna want to change the output format To whatever format you want. There's a whole bunch of different ones here. Basically, any uh, file format, movie file format. So yeah, just select which one you want. I'm just going to select. Uh, I'm just going to select uh, .mov for now, and I'm going to use this audio file, this video file right here for example, which is an mp4 file. And it's going to save it in movies by default, but you can change that to whatever you want. And then just click convert and the conversion process has started. So it might take a few minutes to accomplish each conversion um, but I don't need to wait for it to finish the whole process. I think you guys get the idea. So I'm just going to cancel it because I don't want to have to wait for the uh, the video to finish. And then uh, that's about it for this one. Oh yeah, there's also effects you can add back there, but I don't want to make this video too long. So. Let's take a look at the other software that's available for Mac. This one can convert any text file into any other text file format. Oh, by the way, the first time you open these programs, they might come up with so they might come up with uh, something like this. But uh, I'm just gonna so you can select what options you want for this. But I'm just gonna click next because I'm making a video right now you know and uh, I've got this word document right here it's a .dcox file and then as you can see I can output it as a .doc file, .html file, .odt tile, pdf RFT, rtf, txt or, X, or, XTM, or xml I'm gonna save it as a .doc file and this will save it to the desktop so I'm just going to hit convert. Conversion completed successfully. So go open folder and find it. Should have put it here.
and here it is now as a dot as a dot doc file. So I could, so I took that at dot docx file and spat it copied it and spat it out as a dot doc file. So you guys get the idea for that one. So that's about it for this program. And this one will compress any zip, convert any compressed file format, such as a zip file, into any other sort of compressed file type. Oh, sorry. No, actually what this was is it takes any file, any number of file, and converts it into, into a zip file. Sorry about that confusion. Sorry if that caused confusion. I'm just going to show you how this one works. Actually, I don't need to add that one. So I'm just going to. You can also encrypt files, meaning put a password on them and do a whole bunch of stuff like that. Run them to a CD, it looks like. And I'm just going to. And yeah, you can basically put any files into a compress them into a zip file. So that's about it for this one. It might open this web page when you when you burnt when you uh, you. Um, open the program for the, one of their programs for the first time. It's kind of annoying, but you know. Um, and then I'm going to show you two more, which, uh, which are this one, Pixillion, which can let you convert any image file into any other image file format. I'm going to use this image as a def as a default, and then it's a it's dot jpg image. So I'm going to output it as a dot png image, and we're going to change the uh, and I'm going to change the output folder, meaning where it will save it to to this folder right here. Sorry, my computer's being a bit laggy because I'm filming a video and doing this at the same time and doing a virus, doing a security scan. And, uh... Just gonna click convert. I'm just gonna use this one, and uh, it basically took that and spat it out as a PNG image, as opposed to what it was. Made a copy of it and made the copy a PNG file. So that's about it for this one. Now onto the final one, which is the sound. 
which is the uh, software that will convert any sound into any and any other audio file. Set, get to find that software. Sorry, but just skip. This is it right here. Switch. You might want to select the ones that say recommended. Sorry. So here's the program right here. And uh, I'm just going to use this audio file right here which is an mp3 file and then I'm gonna change it to my desk change it to right put it in right here. and then I'm gonna change it the output folder to this folder right here And I'm going to output it as a uh, AAC file, and I'm going to convert it. And here it is as an AAC audio file. So yeah, you can pretty much convert any file format into any other file format of its type using this program, using these programs. This is a useful feature because sometimes the software work better with a certain audio, certain uh, file formats. And that's about it. If you have any comments, questions, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, this is What's Up 2190, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day. The link to these programs will be in the description.